Dog Man, the Scarlet Shredder, I mean Shredder, was just announced, and that means it's officially theory time. A few days ago, Scholastic officially dropped a ton of info about the plot, and they've announced that the story begins with Dog Man getting sprayed by a skunk. I mean, this is a pinnacle of Dave Pilkey's career. To Dog Man's horror, he turns scarlet red. Even after he's dunked in tomato juice, he's still just as red. And because of his new color, Dogman is straight up rejected by the public. So now, Dogman has to prove himself and win back the trust of his community. But I mean, if I was him, I would not care. I mean, I was the one saving their butt for the past seven years. From dinosaur skeletons to dinosaur robots to sippy cups. If they don't want my help, too bad for them. But they've also announced that Dogman asks Petey to help him by acting like a criminal so that Dogman ends up being a hero again. But while all this is happening, an all new villain is gonna unleash an army of AI robots, ready to destroy Dogman once and for all. Despite the fact that this book is more than 6 months away, I am ready for this book. Okay, that, that was not too good. Anyways, that's why today I'll be telling you my top 3 shred tacular theories for the plot of the Scarlet Shed. Number 1. Rise of the Robots In the city where Dogman lives, a series of unfortunate events is unfolding. Dogman just got sprayed by a skunk, and because of his new color, the citizens he once saved have now abandoned him. Now that the city's ditched him, they've been seeing an insane surge in crime. Enter Dr. Cypher, a scientist with an unusual interest in AI. Dogman and his friends notice the uptick in crime, and after spying on Dr. Cypher, they discover his grand scheme. A scheme where he plans to unleash an army of AI robots, ready to execute his evil commands. By the time they track down his lair, he's already released them. But to their surprise, the robots aren't that evil. The robots quickly become a staple of their society, helping and saving citizens all day, every day. After some time though, Dogman and his friends notice that these citizens are relying a little bit too much on AI. And as soon as every single home in the city has their personal AI robot, Dr. Cypher puts them on evil mode. Dogman works together with Petey the Cat, who uses his tech skills to infiltrate Dr. Cypher's lair, the place where he's controlling each and every single robot. And using Petey's genius inventions, it looks like they're gonna stop Dr. Cypher once and for all. Will Dogman and his friends be able to save the city and regain their trust? Well, you'll have to read this book to find out. Theory number two, Dogman, Code Red. After Dogman got a makeover, after crossing paths with a skunk, he turned completely red. I'm sure you know by now. After his community completely rejects him because of his color, he soon finds out that maybe the whole skunk situation wasn't by accident. After some investigation, Lil Petey and ADHD discover a plan made by an evil but crazy smart scientist, let's call him Dr. Cypher again, who is set on messing up Dogman's reputation, making the citizens lose their trust in him, and then taking over the city when it's at its weakest. It turns out that the skunk that sprayed Dogman was actually a robot skunk with a special spray that never comes off. Once Dr. Cypher releases his AI robots, they infiltrate social media and news sites, spreading crazy misinformation, turning the public against Dogman even more. After that, they start their attack by hacking into banks and big companies, stealing loads of money. Dogman knows he needs to put a stop to this, so Lil Petey and ADHD work together to give Dr. Cypher a taste of his own medicine. How so, you ask? Well, after lots of work, they manage to hack into Dr. Cypher's lab from afar and make the robots crash completely. They fail to realize, though, that all of this was just a distraction and that the whole time Dr. Cypher was actually working on one gigantic AI robot which was faster, stronger, and smarter than every other robot combined. Will Dogman and his friends be able to stop them? Read this book to find out. Or maybe you'll never find out because maybe this theory is dead wrong. Theory number three, Petey returns to the darkness, or not. After the whole Dogman skunk situation, you'll never guess what happens next. 
the public rejects him. And since they're now left without a superhero, the entire city's security is now in trouble. Soon enough, a new villain emerges, and without the presence of Dogman, he takes over the city with ease. He makes an entire army of AI robots to keep the city under his control, and it seems like no one can stop him. Looking for a solution, Petey makes a plan. He decides to team up with the villain and act like his sidekick. The plan seems perfect. He's constantly feeding misinformation to the villain about Dogman while secretly sabotaging his plans, robots, and just about everything else. As Petey grows closer and closer to the villain, he finds out all about his intentions. He knows all about how the robots are coded, how secure the villain's base is, the strengths and weaknesses of the villain himself, and a lot more than that. But then, Petey realizes, he's kind of missed being a villain, and now, it's easier than ever to be one as well. I mean, he's already got the entire city at his fingertips, right? So now, he's faced with the ultimate decision. Will he go back to his dark past, or save the city from the villain's control? You'll have to read this book to find out. I think all of these plot ideas have a pretty good chance of happening, but if you want to see your Dogman 12 theory or prediction in my next video, then just comment them down below, because I'll be featuring the very best theories I see in my next vid. See you then! Wow, I did not even realize how weird vid sounds out loud.